talking about this concept of individual human beings when we're actually, you know, seven billion cells in this world. And talk to me how this kind of equates to humanity as a whole and the way you see that. Yeah. Well, in a new understanding, if we stop looking at genes as the source of evolution, that's a Darwinian view. And we have to stop looking at genes for a simple reason. Uh, they said if you look at the tree of life from primitive organisms, you go up the tree and you get to the humans that's supposedly at the top. Uh, what is the metric or what is the thing that you are measuring from the lowest one to the top one? Well, at first it was genes. We were supposed to, before the Human Genome Project came, came about, we were supposed to have about 150,000 genes to make a human. Uh, one of the primitive organisms that they use in research, like the fruit fly, is a, a worm called Cenorhabditis elegans. The worm is about a half a millimeter. You can hardly see it. And I say, well, how many genes does that have? 20,000 genes. So they say, oh, cool, that's near the bottom of the tree, 150,000 human. Well, they've done the Human Genome Project. What's the answer? 20,000 genes. Hell, we don't have any more genes than the worm has. What was the point? Genes are not a metric of evolution. What is the metric? Consciousness. What's consciousness? It's, it's the membrane of the cell, the skin of the cell. That's where the nervous system comes from, okay? If you start measuring consciousness as a metric for evolution, you'll see that where we are in this world today is an organism, a new organism evolves, and the next phase is to make the smartest version of that organism. But it maximizes. There's a physical thing about consciousness. It's physical. And so an organism can only have so much consciousness. And I say, then, then evolution stops, why? I can't make it any smarter? I go, ah, but it changes paradigm, changes another way. Once you've got the smartest organism, the way you get more intelligence is bring them together with others, make community. So an amoeba formed early on, and they were just single amoebas. And I say, what do they learn how to do? Come together in community. I go, yeah, 50 trillion of them have come together to make this, and they shared awareness is 50 trillion times the awareness of one cell, okay? Humans have maximized their ability of consciousness because the brain is it's inside a skull. I can't make the brain any bigger than a, than a skull. So if I maximize the consciousness of a human, I say, well, then that's the smartest human you can make. I go, yeah. And I say, then what? Bring the humans together in a community, and then evolution jumps. So technology was not able to be produced until enough humans lived together to share awareness. About 30,000 years ago, technology started. Now the number of humans sharing awareness is so great, technology changes almost day by day in today's world. Why? More awareness, everyone sharing. So our evolution, we made the smartest human, that's done. The next level of evolution is to put the humans together, like 50 trillion cells come together to make this, seven billion humans come together to create a super organism called humanity. That's our evolutionary paradigm. That's where we're going. And that's why if you look at the world today, it's, you see it all falling apart. Borders are coming apart. Strife and religion, economics, everywhere you look. And I go, why? It doesn't work. <laughs> and how's it going to work? Well, the internet was the evolution of the planet's nervous system for humans. Hmm. I can get 7 billion people on the internet right now. That means I can connect all of them. I go, yeah. Therefore, we can act as one organism connected and, and create harmony in the world. That's our destination. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below and I'll see you on the inside.